good morning students today we are going to see area of the region bounded between two curves or one line or one curve okay exercise 9.8 fourth problem find the area of the region bounded by the line y is equal to 2x plus 5 and the parabola y is equal to x square minus 2x so in the previous class we have seen only one line or either a line or a curve is given was given but here in this session we are going to see area of the region bounded by two curves that it may be two curves or it may be a line and a curve so if you have two curves or a line and a curve so first you have to find the point of intersection that is the first step so after finding the point of intersection you have to draw the diagram so in the diagram you know that which part which area has to be found okay the third step you have to choose the axis so you are going to solve the problem or you are going to find the area of the bounded region between two curves you have to choose the axis either x axis or y axis okay if you have chosen the x axis you have to use the formula integral a to b y1 minus y2 into dx if you have chosen y axis you have to use the formula integral a to b x1 minus x2 into dx Uh, dy okay so you see that first step you have to find the point of intersection the second step you have to draw the diagram and the third step you have to choose the axis if you have chosen x axis means the formula is integral a to b y1 minus y2 into dx so usually if only one curve is given if you have chosen x axis means integral a to b y dx here you are having two curves so therefore integral a to b y1 minus y2 into dx if you have chosen x axis y axis if only one uh, line or a curve is given you will use the formula integral c to d x dy so here you have to use integral c to d x1 minus x2 into dy okay so you see the problem fourth one find the area of the region bounded by the line y is equal to 2x plus 5 and the parabola y is equal to x square minus 2x here one line and one curve is given okay first you have to find the point of intersection of both see that here y is equal to 2x plus 5 here y is equal to x square minus 2x so therefore this y term has to be substituted here so in the place of y what do you are going to write x square minus 2x so x square minus 2x is equal to 2x plus y so this 2x when you take it to the next side it is minus 2x so minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x and plus 5 when you take it to here it is minus 5 so it's a quadratic equation so when you take the product uh, it should be minus 5 and the addition of those two terms is minus 4 so you can factorize as x plus 1 into x minus 5 is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 5 so x is equal to minus 1 you can substitute in any one of the uh, equation so y is equal to minus 2 plus 5 so that is 3 and x is equal to 5 if you substitute here y is equal to 10 plus y that is 15 so the point of intersection are minus 1 comma 3 and 5 comma 15 these points should lie on the line as well as the parabola after finding the point of intersection the second step you have to draw the diagram so for that it has been uh, so x axis and y axis are drawn okay so first you need some points so i'll take the first line y is equal to 2x plus 5 so first put x is equal to 0 so if you substitute x equal to 0 here y is equal to 5 next put y is equal to 0 so if you substitute y as 0 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 so 2x is equal to minus 5 x is equal to minus 5 by 
these two points are enough to draw the line if you want you can find one positive point and one negative point next you consider the curve so y is equal to x square minus 2x so if you factorize x is taken out so x into x minus 2 so curve means uh, it's not a straight line it's a curve okay because the power of x is 2 okay put x equal to 0 as usual put x equal to 0 then y is equal to 0 if you substitute x as 0 0 minus 0 is 0 okay next put y as 0 so y 0 if you substitute here x square minus 2x is equal to 0 otherwise x into x minus 2 is equal to 0 so x equal to 0 already this point is there and x minus 2 is equal to 0 means x is equal to 2 so 2 comma 0 but for the curve these two points are not enough so you need at least two positive points and two negative points so i'll take x is equal to 1 so if you substitute here x equal to 1 1 squared is 1 1 1 minus 2 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 x is equal to minus 1 minus 1 the whole squared is 1 into here minus 1 if you substitute here it is 1 plus 2 that is 3 so go for x equal to minus 2 so minus 2 if you substitute it is minus 4 the whole squared sorry minus 2 the whole squared what is it 4 4 minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4 so 4 plus 4 is 8 in the same way you can find uh, the remaining two points okay and uh, you see that the point of intersection 5 comma 15 if you substitute x as 5 it is 25 minus 10 so that is 15 okay so using the uh, tabular column we have to draw the curve on the what is it line and you have to mark the point of intersection also you come to the diagram now so first i am going to draw the curve you see that first point 0 comma 0 so 0 comma 0 is here okay next one what it is 2 comma 0 so 2 comma 0 i marked here so this is 0 comma 0 and this is 2 comma 0 okay next one 1 comma minus 1 so 1 comma minus 1 this is the point okay so 0 comma 0 1 comma minus 1 and 2 comma 0 so uh, you have drawn this part okay so after that minus 1 comma 3 so minus 1 is here minus 1 comma 3 okay so this is the point of intersection this is very very important so minus 1 comma 3 this point and the next one minus 2 comma 8 so go for minus 2 minus 2 comma 8 i have drawn so therefore if using this we can extend so starting from here and up to 2 comma 0 next one we need 2 comma 0 if you stop so you you need to enlarge this curve so therefore you take 3 if you substitute 3 3 squared is 9 9 minus 6 9 minus 6 is what it is 3 so therefore it is 3 comma 3 also mark so next one you have to extend the curve like this it's a parabola which is open upward after that you have to mark the line so these two points is enough to draw the line first point is what 0 comma 5 where it is 0 comma 5 and the next one what is it minus 5 by 2 means minus 2.5 comma 0 so here you will have minus 2.5 comma 0 using these two points you just extend the straight line so it will touch the curve at two points one is you see the point of intersection one is minus 1 comma 3 so this point is minus 1 comma 3 the next point is what 5 comma 15 so this is 5 comma 15 so you have drawn the curve as well as the line so what is asked find the area of the region bounded by the find the area of the region bounded by the line and the parabola so this is the line and this is the parabola so this uh, shaded part is the required area okay so see now here you have to choose the axis so first we have completed the point of intersection next we have drawn the diagram and in that diagram we have shaded the portion which portion we have to find okay but now the third point is you have to choose the axis so are you going to going for x axis or y axis okay so here i am going to choose the x axis so this whole region the shaded part is between x equal to minus 1 
and x is equal to 5. I have drawn these two lines. If you want, you can extend. So, x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 5. So, within this limit, the whole shaded part is covered. Okay. So, therefore, we are going to choose the x-axis. Okay. So, after choosing the x-axis and the limits are x is equal to, what where is from? It is where is from minus 1 to plus 5. So, within that limit, you have chosen the x-axis. So, you have to write the formula integral minus 1 to 5. What will you write if you choose x-axis? y1 minus y2 into dx. See, usually we will take y. Okay, here what is y1? y1 means, you see that y has to be taken from the first curve and y2 means y has to be taken from the second curve. So, we have to take uh, y. So, the first one is from the first curve and next from the second curve. So, here you have to choose which one is the first one and which one is the second one. Okay, that is very, very important. Okay, you see that for that you have chosen x-axis means you have to draw the arbitrary line towards x-axis. Arbitrary line towards x-axis. So, you see that this is the this is the line. Okay, so you have to which should be parallel to y-axis and you have to draw towards x-axis. Okay, so see that this line first it touches the uh, line y is equal to 2x plus y then only it touches the curve. So, if you draw the arbitrary line parallel to y-axis towards x-axis and it cuts the plane region. First it cuts the line, then it cuts the curve. Okay, you see to that. This is the arbitrary line, just imagine, which is parallel to y-axis. So, it cuts the, the region also, plane region. First it enters, if I, first it touches the line, then only it touches the curve. Okay, so therefore, this y has to be taken from the line and next y has to be taken from the curve. So, y1 means y has to be taken from the line. Okay. And y2 means it is y has to be taken from the curve. So, you see that from the line, if you change you will get the answer as in terms of minus. So, therefore, y1 and y2. So, y has to be taken carefully, which is first, which is second is important. For that, if you have chosen x-axis means you have to draw the arbitrary line parallel to y-axis and it comes towards x-axis. So, first the line touches first the given line then it touches the curve so therefore y has to be taken from the line first and next y has to be taken from the curve so here it is what is y it is 2x plus y so integral minus 1 to 5 your y1 is 2x plus 5 and y2 means y has to be taken from the curve so the curve the y is x square minus 2x so here it is written and you have to um, simplify this 2x plus y minus x square minus into minus plus 2x into dx so therefore 2x plus 2x is 4x 4x plus 5 minus x square into dx next you have to integrate so see that 4x so 4 is a constant x if you integrate it is x squared by 2 plus 5 is a constant 5 into dx is 5x 
minus x squared if you integrate it is x cube by 3 and the limits varies from minus 1 to 5. So, first you have to apply the upper limit. So, see 4 by 2 is what it is 2. So, 2x squared plus 5x minus x cube by 3. So, first you apply the upper limit. In the place of x you have to substitute 5. So, 5 squared is 25. 25 into 2 is 50. When you substitute here 5 5 is or 25 and 5 the whole cube is 125. So, minus 125 divided by 3. So, upper limit is over. In between you have to write minus. Then apply the lower limit. So, if you substitute here lower limit minus 1, minus 1 the whole squared is 1. 1 into 2 is 2. And if you substitute in the place of x as minus 1, 5 into minus 1 is minus 5. So, here you are having minus. Minus 1 the whole cube also minus. So, minus into minus plus 1 by 3. So, 50 plus uh, 25 is 75. If you take LCM, 75 into 3 is 225. So, 225 minus 125 divided by 3, that is 100 by 3. And you see, if you simplify, 2 minus 5 is what? Minus 3. So, if you take LCM, minus 3 into 3 is minus 9 plus 1 by 3. Minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8 by 3. So, minus into minus plus plus 8 by 3. So, it is 108 by 3 that is equal to 36. So, the required area. So, the shaded part area is what is it? 36 square units. So, next we are moving to the problem number 7. Okay. Find the area of the region bounded by the parabola y squared on the line y is equal to x minus 2. So, here um, in this problem one parabola and one line is given the same way. So, if we have two results, two curves, either two curves or one line and one curve. So, your procedure you have to find the point of intersection. So, next one you have to draw the diagram. Next, you have to choose the axis. According to the axis, you have to choose the, you have to write the formula. So, first step, I am going for the point of intersection of these two. So, here, in the place of x, you are having y squared. So, if you substitute in this equation, in the place of x as y squared. So, y is equal to y squared minus 2. So, the plus y, when you take it to the next side, it is minus y. So, y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. So, a quadratic equation in terms of y. So, you have to factorize. So, while you, when you factorize, you will get the factors y plus 1 into y minus 2. That is equal to 0. So, when you substitute x, y is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 2. So, when y is equal to minus 1, if you substitute here, uh, you can go for here also. y is equal to minus 1. So, minus 1 the whole squared is 1. So, x is equal to 1. y is equal to 2, if you substitute here, 2 the whole squared is 4. So, x is equal to 4. So, see the point of intersection 1 comma minus 1 and 4 comma minus 2. So, after finding the point of intersection, the next step is you have to find the you have to draw the diagram so for that you need uh, two or three points so you you are going from the tabular column first you take the line y is equal to x minus 2 so y is equal to x minus 2 put x is equal to 0 if you substitute x as 0 y is equal to minus 2 then put y as 0 so x minus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 if you want you can uh, take two or three points okay so next one i'll take a parabola so y squared is equal to x so therefore from this equation it's a parabola open right word otherwise you take some points put x as 0 x 0 means y squared is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 okay next one put x is equal to 1, x as 1, y squared is equal to 1, so y is equal to plus or minus 1, so 1 comma 1 and 1 comma minus 1, so for parabola you will have 2, so if we substitute 2, y squared is equal to 2, y is equal to square root of 2 will come, so for that only I have considered x is equal to 4, x equal to 4 means y squared is equal to 4, y is equal to plus or minus 2, so plus 2 and minus 2 I have written, so um, perfect square number I am substituting for x. So, x is equal to 9 means y squared is equal to 9, y is equal to plus or minus 3. So, using the points we are going to draw the diagram. Okay. So, you see that x axis and y axis I have drawn it. Okay. So, uh, uh, first we have to draw the parabola. 
so first point is what 0 comma 0 so i mark 0 comma 0 so next i'll start with 1 comma 1 so it is 1 comma 1 this point 1 comma 1 in the same one you will have minus 1 so 1 comma 1 and 1 comma minus 1 in the same way next 4 i'll take 4 so 4 comma 4 uh, sorry 4 comma 2 so 4 comma 2 and 4 comma minus 2 so next one 9 comma 3 and 9 comma minus 3 so therefore using that we have drawn the diagram you see that how it will be so first i have drawn the x axis and y axis see the point first point is 0 comma 0 so here 0 comma 0 is marked next one what is it 1 comma 1 it may be above next the same one you will have minus 1 so it will be here the next one 4 comma 2 so 4 x x value is 4 4 comma 2 next one for that 4 comma minus 2 and next one 9 comma 3 and the same 9 comma minus 3 so above x axis and the below x axis you will have the points so therefore if you use if you join all the if you join all the points you will get the parabola which is open rightward so that only i have marked in this diagram okay so next i have to draw the line okay see the line point is what it is first 0 comma minus 2 so where it is 0 comma minus 2 this point and the next one what it is 2 comma 0 so 2 comma 0 i have marked okay so using these two points you have to draw the line so the line is drawn okay so area bounded between the uh, line and the curve so this shaded part will come okay you see that line parabola here i have drawn parabola here i have drawn the line is minus 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 0 so if you draw the straight line so which part is needed so this part you have to find out that only i have shaded in yellow color okay so i have completed the diagram now now the third point is what you have to choose the axis so if you choose x axis what the limit has to come you see that x equal to 0 this one line and you see now next one is what x is equal to 4 so these two line okay so if you consider within this limit you see that here uh, unbounded region will come okay so for this i'm for this problem i'm going to choose the y axis you see now y axis means what is the line here this line this line is nothing but y is equal to minus one y is equal to minus one see now here i'm going to choose the y axis so i have i have used this line so this line equation is y is equal to minus 1 y value is minus 1 so this line is y is equal to minus 1 and you have to use this you have to take this line so this line the y is the whose equation is y is equal to 2 okay so you have chosen the y axis so if you choose the limit y is equal to minus 1 to y is equal to 2 the whole region is enclosed within the limit okay extra is there but it is bounded okay but if you choose x axis alone you see that from this diagram x axis alone means x is equal to 0 okay this red sketch and x is equal to 4 so this one okay you see that here also is there so therefore the uh, what it will not be a bounded one it is a unbounded region will come so that's why for this problem we are going to choose the y axis so y axis means you have to choose the formula integral c to d x1 minus x2 into dy so that's why here integral uh, c to d we have to choose the limit also here your limit is minus 1 to 2 
so minus 1 to 2 x1 minus x2 into dy so you have to choose x so x has to be chosen from either a parabola or the line okay so here x1 means x has to be chosen from the first curve x2 means x has to be chosen from the second curve okay so the previous problem we have chosen the axis as x axis so how we have drawn the line we drawn uh, the line parallel to y axis and towards x axis now you have chosen the axis as y axis so you have to draw any arbitrary line which is parallel to x axis any arbitrary line any arbitrary line which is parallel to x axis and it has to uh, move towards y axis so in this way you have to move so and it cuts the plane region also so how you have to draw the arbitrary line which is parallel to x axis and move towards y axis and it has to cut the this uh, shaded part so when it cuts first it cuts the line then only it will cuts the parabola so therefore the x1 means x has to be chosen from the line and x2 means x, x has to be chosen from the parabola why we are taking x1 from the first line means while you are drawing the uh, what is that line any orbital line parallel to x axis it touches first the line so what is the line equation y is equal to x minus 2 from that line equation which one has to be chosen which one has to be chosen x so therefore your answer is y plus 2 so in the place of x1 you have to write y plus 2 so here it is written y plus 2 and next x has to be chosen from the parabola so it is given y is equal x is equal to y squared so in the place of x2 in the place of x2 you have to write y squared so next uh, you just apply the minus so y plus 2 minus y squared so if you integrate the y it is y squared by 2 if you integrate the constant it is 2y minus y squared if you integrate it is y cube by 3 you have to apply the upper limit so it is 2 squared is 4 by 2 plus 2 twos are 4 and minus 2 cube is 8 8 by 3 next you have to write the minus in between apply the lower limit minus 1 the whole squared is 1 by 2 plus 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 and minus here minus 1 the whole cube is minus 1 minus into minus is plus so plus 1 by 3 so what is 4 by 2 it is 2 2 plus 4 is 6 6 minus 8 by 3 in between you are having minus so next half minus 2 so you have to take LCM here the LCM is 6 so therefore it has to be multiplied with 3 so 3 minus this number has to be multiplied with 6 so minus 12 plus this number has to be multiplied with 2 so 1 into 2 is 2 so if you take LCM 18 minus 8 18 minus 8 is 10 by 3 so when you simplify 3 plus 2 is 5 5 minus 12 is minus 7 by 6 so minus into minus plus 7 by 6 next you take LCM LCM is 6 so here it will be uh, 2 so 20 plus 7 by 6 that is 27 by 6 that is equal to 9 by 2 so therefore the required area is equal to 9 by 2 thank you students